I feel I for one really appreciated the one-on-one -on -one sessions that we had being able to look at the different uh, um, members of uh, uh, of ECAP and looking specifically to where I am with, with you know Samoan uh, uh, relationship with uh, ECAP. Um, the reason why I say this is because a lot of the other programs in regards to say Pilna, in regards to say um, school leadership and so these it's very good to see have to look through different eyes get a different perspective of to where we are as a country. Too often when things happen from a national scale, we become more defensive of things that we... But mind you, we're talking about learning. We're talking about, you know, providing towards our students. And it is also sometimes very good to get a second opinion through different eyes. And that's how I looked at the relationship of Pilna. It also put emphasis of where we in Samoa have to work harder. We, there are issues that we have to try and improve upon our deliverables in regards to this relationship. Mm -hmm. I just hope that they continue to have this dialogue among the region because it, the, the one thing that's coming across is that one, the climate change, how it affects us, and now even things like the tides are starting to affect us, uh, looking at um, continued either droughts, natural hazards, and, and it will have an impact on our delivery as teachers. Even in regards to our teacher training, I think, let's be very honest, the mode of training that was done in the past, that we, can, we are able to remove the teacher to train in, whether it's in a national institution or a regional institution, slowly, with the dawn of, uh, of COVID, we're gonna have to be very uh, mindful that these trainings will have to be online, connectivity will be an issue, and even to be having the, um, to be able to affordability of this service. So these are issues that may not um, be acceptable to many within the region, but these are the realities of how we have to be aware of moving forward into the future.